Hi, this is Debbie. Welcome back to Cheyenne, Wyoming Urban Gardener. And we're back at the Botanic Gardens. This is the Cheyenne Botanic Gardens here in Cheyenne, Wyoming. And we are doing the outside tour. This is not the area that's the children's village. This is the actual outside landscaping. And they do have a crevice garden here where they put all of the rocks and then gardening in between. Just to show you what all that you can grow here in the crevicing garden. And all sorts of little pathways outside of the building. And they're currently working on this section. And they say that it will be coming soon. And then they have a shade garden in this area. Some really pretty flowers here. Some of the same ones that I actually grow in my garden. I wish you could see how brilliantly blue these flowers are on the camera. I'm not real sure that they'll show up like that. So it is very sunny out here today. Some dianthus. I have these same shades of dianthus, both in the white and in the pink. Looks like some pompous grass growing. And that might be tall fescue, I'm not real sure. And looks like um, that's either lamb's ear or comfrey down there. Could be something else. I'm not real sure on all of the um, proper names of all of the plants. And we've got some undershade roses all throughout this area. Some beautiful water features and seating area. Nice circular garden with some hanging vines. So if you've never visited the Cheyenne, Wyoming Botanic Gardens, they are really expanding and doing so much at this area. And of course you can see some of the greenhouse here in this area. Some more beautiful roses over in there. All shades of petunias, which I have as well, and I think I have the same Gerbera daisy right here, and this is kind of a raised garden bed. I have the same color petunias. That looks like that might be some allium there. Could be walking Egyptian onions, I'm not real sure. In this area, we've got some sage. I wish my sage looked that good, but I have some. Really pretty area. Got lots of visitors here today. because it is still the event going on of the Heirlooms and Blooms Harvest Festival. Hand. And they just have little flowers tucked away everywhere. So you can see all kinds of pots. And looks like they're still working on this area behind. So it's going to be a continuation of the crevice garden. getting really pretty out here. And 
And as you know, we came yesterday, which was Saturday, and today is Sunday. We just did not have enough time in the day to finish everything out on a Saturday, but we are also toting around a three and a half year old child, my grandson. Beautiful water feature here with some cattails. Let's see if we have any fish in here. I'm not sure. Isn't that beautiful? I could just sit and listen to the water all day. I'm sure this probably draws in some bullfrogs. Beautiful area. Nice little bridge. Ah. That looks like that it may be a, um, probably some of the plants that I have around my house. Nice little seating area back in here, shaded, kind of forested. Oh, that's a U right there. Now, one of the things that they do need to get here that I have not seen in Wyoming, and we have a lot of them back in East Tennessee, is a spice bush, which in East Tennessee we call a bubby bush. And they just smell wonderful. Looks like we got a Martin house. And all kinds of little benches through this area. And a grandson who keeps trying to run ahead. Beautiful little arch with some plants around it. And now we're on the stone path. Mm, that looks like a birch or maybe cherry of some sort. Stop picking rocks, please. Oh, we got some tomatoes tucked in, Samantha. It looks like a gold sugar. Yep, that was right. And some more tomatoes here. Well, tomatoes make good companion plants. I'm surprised they've got it this shaded, though. These are pretty much in the shade. Tomatoes don't really enjoy being in the shade too much. And this is their cottage garden. Looks like we got some peppers. Yep. Some bell peppers right here. So they've got peppers growing in containers like I do. <laughs> Don't kick the rocks, please. Looks like they had a trellis here for some clematis, but the clematis did not get very tall, and mine didn't get very tall either, so it might have been a thing this season. So I was just talking with a couple of people that were sitting here on a bench. Got a nice forested area over there with lots of benches and places to sit. And again, more features here. And uh, some beautiful, looks like those might be Shasta daisies. I'm not real sure, or African daisies. Kind of don't have the leaf pattern of daisies though. So I'm not sure on that one. These... I was trying to get earlier in the season and could not find any place to get them. And you can't see it on the camera. The camera is showing them up as purple, but they are a very, very bright, um, dark blue. And I've been trying to get these and still haven't gotten them yet. All kinds of little features here with pots and stonework, like nice forested area. Trying to pick the camera up a little bit higher for some reason. My camera wants to go down some. This reminds me a lot of the concrete work at the Victorian mansion that we own because there's little cut cutouts in the concrete in different places. Oh, and look at this mosaics here all around this stonework and another water feature. Nice little area. I'm not sure if there's any fish in that because it's just kind of bubbling up. 
anyway, just little beautiful flowers all over the place. Kind of reminds me of East Tennessee instead of being in Wyoming because you don't expect such nice under areas under the trees. So they're definitely making some microclimates here. Beautiful little gazebo. This would be a nice place to hold a wedding or just have a nice gathering. And then of course there is the what they call a lake here is a much smaller than what I'm used to. It looks like a, just a really big pond to me. So this is the perennial walk. It looks like that a local spider has been borrowing the foliage. Two nice garden beds there. And then they have all of this area over here that they've planted up in roses and different flowers and things. There's a lot to see here at the Botanical Gardens that I had not really noticed before. And then they've got this really nicely mulched through here with some under shade grasses. And I think I see a rhubarb, or it could be a hydrangea, but it looks closer to a rhubarb to me. Got some spiderwort here. There may actually be some currants or gooseberries. Who knows? I'm not seeing any tags on these. And there could also be some choke cherries through here. Choke cherries are kind of the thing in Wyoming. I've never been fond of them, so I haven't uh, really fooled with them. Got some sea kale. And this is an odd plant that I don't know anything about. So if you know anything about some of the plants, then please, in the comments down below, name what those plants are. Beautiful area to walk around. And that's my grandson Bill out there running around the garden labyrinth. Nice little thing to do out here. And looks like we had some vandalism. Wherever there are people involved, there is vandalism. It did rain here a little bit earlier today. It wasn't much of a rain, but it was enough to make things muddy. So we're still here in the Botanic Garden. And it looks like they've got a nice little fishing pond over here. And I do see a carp. Looks like a nice big carp. You can see the shadow right there. Of course, some people might call it a koi, but to me, that looks like a bugle mouth carp. That's what we call them back in Tennessee. <laughs> 